Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about town homes. okay? This is an introduction for that. And also, thanks so much for the comments and for reaching out. And everyone was, uh, a lot of people have been asking for this video for how to do town homes. So, there we go. We go for it, okay? Okay, so we're going to start with the following. What is a town home? So, in order to show you what a town home is, I'm just going to do a very quick Google search, okay, to show you. Okay, so in Google, what do we have for town homes? For me, it's better to show some pictures in Google. So, so town homes are basically a vertical dwelling unit. Sometimes you have two stories. For example, in this case, you have one, two, three levels, right? Okay. And how many units do we have in here? We have one, two, three, four, five units. And it's very important to mention whenever you're doing a manual J calculation, you have to notice that there are exterior units and interior units. So in this case, we have one exterior, two exterior units, all right? And you have one, two, and three interior units. And the reason is the exterior units are gonna, they have more exposure and the interior units have less exposure. Because they have more exposure, then the HVAC unit is gonna be bigger. For example, in this case, we're gonna have a two-ton unit, for example. 2 ton unit for exterior units and for interior units, 1.5 ton unit, right? So that's the main concept. And there, there are different types of uh, townhomes. For example, in this case, so you have a two story, you have a parking garage. I mean, you have a garage. The garage could be one car or two cars, right? So there's a townhome, there's another townhome with two car garage and then one level, two level, three level, right? For, uh, in here I have another one, see, we, we don't have uh, uh, garages, but on the back side there might be some garages. Okay, so this is one, two, three stories. Okay, this is more luxury actually, I like this better. So this is one story, no, I mean one car garage, and then you have one level, two level, three level, right? See, the, there's another one in here, you have two level, one level, two level, and one car garage. All right, there are so many uh, different ways, okay? So that's basically a townhome. And this is a very interesting video because now what we're gonna do for townhomes is step number one, you need to import the PDF or you need to start drawing based on the dimensions, okay? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the PDF. So in order to import that document, we're gonna put in here, what is this? In here, when you hover over, this says, let's check what it says. It says PDF file, right? So click in there. And then once you do that, you have to make a region. And I make another video about this, about importing PDF, right? Okay, so my very good advice is that architect or anyone who is, is gonna give you the drawings. Okay, here's the drawings, first floor, second floor, third floor, and plumbing and electrical, here are the drawings. They are gonna give you a lot of pages, right? So my suggestion is uh, break it up in level by level. That's what I did in here. I break it up in I broke it up in basement, first floor, and second floor. Okay, so that's a very good recommendation. It's easier that way. So since I have the basement, I'm gonna click on the basement. I'm gonna go here, open, and then there we go. We have the basement. There we go. We have the basement right there. Okay. So let's try to be very efficient for this video. Okay. We imported one. We're gonna make. The, we're gonna put the scale after. Okay. So what level is this? We're gonna follow what they say. This is unfinished basement. This is basement. So under the tree in here it says sheet. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna right click, and it says edit sheet. Under edit sheet, we're gonna put in here basement. Basement. And we're gonna put it just zero, zero. Okay, there we go. So you have the basement, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another level. In order to create another level, go to the tree, to this side, right click, and then we're gonna add a sheet. If you're gonna add a sheet, it's gonna tell you the name. The name is gonna be first floor first floor and we're gonna put in here the elevation the elevation could be nine feet it could be ten feet let's put like maybe oh ten feet is a lot. let's put nine feet there you go so elevation nine feet okay 
Okay, so now we're gonna create another one. We're gonna create another level because this is a three-story building. Right click on the tree and then you're gonna put edit sheet. Under edit sheet, you're gonna put in here second floor. Second floor and then nine plus nine, that's gonna be 18. There we go. Okay, so, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna edit sheet in again. So this was the first floor, right? I made a mistake in here, this was nine. Okay, okay, there we go. So we have the basement, we have the first floor. Now we want to create another floor. So which means we're going to do add sheet, not edit, add sheet. Under add sheet, we're gonna put second floor. Second floor and the elevation is gonna be nine plus nine, 18, right? There we go. And then we hit okay. So now we created the tree. We had the basement, the first floor, and second floor. Okay, in the basement, for example, if I uncheck the basement, I'm on the first floor, we have nothing. I uncheck, uncheck the first floor, second floor, we have nothing. But if I uncheck all of them, I go to the basement, I check it, we have the basement already, okay? Perfect. Now let's go to the first floor. We're, gonna, we're going to import the PDF. And see, I'm going to click in here, it says one sheet at a time click in there so that way not all the floors are enabled so uh, this is interesting because now if you uncheck it if you click on all the levels all the levels are going to be enabled and you're going to be able to see in here all the levels they're going to be overlaying however if you just click on here one sheet at a time you're going to see one floor at a time see for example in this case we're seeing first floor only okay in here basement only second floor only Okay, so now we're gonna import the first floor. Let's go to the first floor. We don't have anything. So again, go to the PDF. And then since I did already this PDF preparation, we're gonna go here in first floor and then you're gonna hit open. Perfect, there you go. You have the first floor. Now we're gonna go to the second floor. You don't have anything. So go here and then you make a region and the region you can put second floor open. There we go. You have everything. You have the second floor, first floor, you have the basement, okay? Now that you have everything, now you can do a scale, okay? We're going to scale all these drawings, okay? So let's let's do that little by little, okay? No, no, there's no need to rush because this is these are the fundamentals of having a precise and very good design, okay? Okay, so I'm zooming in. Okay, number one, check on the grids. In here, what's your grid system? You go to drawing, go to grid settings. By default, your grid is 12 by 12, okay? So let's, I would recommend only and only for importing PDF and maybe to be precise, let's put one. One which, and then we're gonna put it back to 12 or six. There you go. We're putting one, 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 one. Okay, see, there you go. So you have one, 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 one. Okay, one by one. Now that you have this, it says, the, from here to here is 20 feet. In order to set up the scale, you go here to the dimension, click here, and then see, from here to here, right there, right? From here to here, right now is 28, four inches, okay? But what happened with the scale? The scale is not showing. It should show me a prompt that says, what is your desired, desired uh, dimension? So in order to do that, what we have to do is, we have to enable the PDF right here, okay? The PDF. Okay, let's see. When we enable the PDF right here, see, click on the PDF on the tree, Let's go try again, second try, clicking here, and again go here, and then go here. There we go. Automatically it says the dimension is 28.33 decimal, the third dimension. What's your third dimension? That dimension should be 20. Okay, there we go. It automatically, it's a scale, see? I don't, I, I, I don't want this, um, what is it called? 28.4. We didn't need that. We click here. And now, uh, it's good to lock this PDF image. It's good to lock it. We're gonna lock that because I want to select the dimension. When I click in here, 
it's sometimes it's difficult uh, by I was lucky I was able to select it but you know if I want to select it here oh it's selecting the image so that's sometimes sometimes a bothersome what you're gonna you, what you're gonna do is go here to the uh, PDF and lock it so if you want to lock it there is a hand in there so double click on the hand double click it's locked okay so if it's locked let's go here now you it's easier to handle everything so right there see it's almost perfect see see it's almost perfect that's why i'm making it 21 by not one by one grid system see 20 20 okay okay so now let's double check on this the in here it says 33 right so from here to here it should be 33 so what we're going to do is let's go here to the dimensions and then let's go check in here it's going to be from here to here okay go down it's giving me what is the scale right now it's 32.33 it's almost the same but let's put 33 and let's see what that, that gets me 33 and in here it's still I have oh 20 got smaller mm -hmm. there you go there we go okay it's relatively relatively good see 33 20 okay it's not it's never gonna be the price very good precise precise but because sometimes you have to take into account the thickness of the wall right okay so we are good with this level and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to normal drawing so my suggestion is don't leave it at one by one i tried that once and it gave me so many troubles when i was doing my duck design so let's leave it at six by six six by six by six by six and then we're all good there we go so we have six by six and also i'm gonna move this a little bit to the side i'm going to unlock it there we go move it to the side so another issue is when you move it to the side or any place it's gonna tell you it's gonna move it only on six by six so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the grid settings and just just to move it a little bit one 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 okay so move it a little bit to the side there you go and then let's do it again six by six let's check in here what it gives us six by six by six by six perfection perfection let's see okay okay all right see it's in the middle of the dots in the middle almost see six by six all right so we are all good with this and again check on these grid systems we have six by six okay we're good so the first floor is ready i mean the basement is ready Okay, the basement is ready now what we can do is actually we're gonna go to the second floor we're gonna do the same thing okay so this is gonna be quicker so let's go to the first floor and then on the first floor this is big and since this is big um see let's go here again let's go here again let's go <laughs> okay so in here again the dimension from here to here was 20 right from here to here was 20 29 but it didn't give me the desired dimension at all so let's go undo ctrl z undo in order to enable the dimension you have to go to the tree in the tree it says pdf click on the pdf and now when you do the dimension you're gonna go here i'm gonna go here it's gonna tell you what's the desired dimension and remember that was 20 right that was 20 that that's in good scale and then since this is 20 this automatically should be 33 or 33.3 uh, right but it's 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 precise enough and now if you're ocd and you want more pre precision go to one by one by one and go deeper and deeper but not needed honestly okay just uh some details now that we have the second floor we're gonna go to the third floor oh, i mean the first floor is done let's go to go to the uh, second floor we're going to do the same in here again the pdf is not enabled it's not if it's not enabled the pdf you're going to click in here in the dimension let's see if something happens let's see nothing happens right so click on the pdf on the tree and then go to dimensions and then go here 
and then go here, right there. It says desert dimension, that's gonna be 20. There we go. Okay, already. So pretty much we are ready to start drawing our rooms in right sort for a townhome, all right? Okay, so there is gonna be a video that I'm gonna make because um, there's a big issue with uh, townhomes when you're doing a big row. And I'm gonna put this in tips and tricks on my videos because what happens is, what if you do like one, see, I have one townhome right here, right? I have one townhome and then I have one, two, I have three, I have four, I have five, I have six, oh my gosh, this is there, and this is there. All right, go up, go down, go up, go down. There we go. So I want to put more, but it doesn't allow me. What is more? That it doesn't allow me because I, I reach out my completely. I cannot go farther. But what if you have more units? How would you model all those units? So this is townhome number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What if you have eight units and you cannot have it? So we're going to make that in a tips and tricks video. It's going to be a very quick, easy thing. Okay, so in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing the rooms for each townhome. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.